assalamu alaikum guys uh, if you haven't subscribed our channel just take a second and pause your video for just a second and click this red button to subscribe our channel so that you can get the updates of each and every video so let's just uh, focus on our uh, tutorial in the previous video we have talked about uh, how to add a field to models and then add uh, to the form view without no code so uh, in this video we will talk about different kind of views like list views kanban views uh, and form views and also we will uh, talk about that what is the relation between uh, menus and actions which display the data stored in the models as i told uh, you before that data is uh, all the data is stored in the uh, models and it is handled by the models and it uh, it is displayed to the user through different views like for example if i uh, click on the product menu it brings up uh, the kanban view uh, by default but if i click on the orders uh, menu it brings up the uh, list view by default i can just navigate to the other views like uh, kanban view and pivot view sorry pivot view and this pivot view is just uh, for analysis purpose uh, and you can just anchor, anal analyze the data from different angles adding uh, a field through uh, the views and uh, into the models like this is not a good practice for a developer actually uh, we want to understand the odoo framework before enter into the uh, actual odoo custom add-ins development so the purpose of this video is uh, just to understand the basic structure of odoo so that it uh, is easier for us to under uh, to code the custom add-ins for of odoo so as we notice that uh, if we click on the products uh, view uh, the kanban view is uh, displayed by default so menus and uh, views are uh, tied together through actions so in order to understand the actions we want to uh, uh, check it through the debug mode so click the debug uh, symbol and uh, then click edit actions uh, so this is the actions which is controlled in the views of uh, this model and it is uh, linked to the menu inside the menu we uh, define that this menu is for this uh, action and then we click on that menu it just uh, it just uh, recognize that uh, which view is defined for this uh, actions and the views are uh, defined inside here that uh, this is the uh, this is the sequence of views uh, to be displayed first it will uh, display kanban view then tree view then form view and then uh, activity view and this is the um, view which uh, you which they want to display by default when we click on the uh, product button uh, first time so let's just uh, change it a bit uh, to understand uh, it uh, more clearly. So I will just uh, change the order of these uh, views. First, I want to display the tree view and then I will add tree view here. And then click save and exit this. So let's just click on the products menu and bang, you can see that uh, by default no big no the uh, tree view is dif displayed when i click the kanban view here it is the kanban view and then the list so if i click the orders and you can see that by default the uh, list view is displayed in this way the uh, um, actions and menus are tied together to show the views so we can handle the views um, uh, through actions so this is just a basic understanding and uh, the next discussion part is to add a field in uh, tree view so i want to add the field which i added yesterday in the form view 
now i want to add this field in the uh, tree view also i will i would suggest that first uh, you know, pause this video and try yourself to add this uh, field anywhere on the tree view but but if you uh, don't succeed don't need to be worried about it uh, i will just uh, explain that how to you can do it so first of all check the name of the field it is x computer generation and then uh, click uh, this view to open up the tree view and then click the debug sign and uh, click uh, edit view list here uh, you can just select uh, any i want to edit after name field name equal to x computer generation and close the tag so click save and exit no uh, you just need to refresh uh, the browser so we can just uh, see it here for example i will search for the top so we can see that uh, it is generation so i hope you guys uh, got the basic understanding of uh, what Udo is or uh, what uh, are the view, different kind of views uh, what is a menu and what is the relationship between uh, Udo models views actions and uh, menus uh, so in the end i would suggest that uh, in order to learn Udo you just need to practice is it too much i want to give you an assignment uh, so the assignment is like uh, you need to add a new field uh, of before uh, the internal reference and uh, just uh, any field you can add it uh, first you need to add it into the model uh, how you can navigate to the model you need to click the settings button settings and then click technical and then uh, you need to click uh, the models so here you need to search product dot template model and this is the product dot template model and you can add a new field so add a new field uh, from here and then add a new add that field uh, about the internal reference so uh, this is uh, your assignment for today thank you guys for watching this video